My name is Amata, and in this Red Gaming Tech video, I am once again here with a little bit of a smorgasbord for you. And our first item on our list is to do with Micro Center, who are, of course, pretty well known in the US for offering PC hardware at slightly cheaper prices than you might find elsewhere. Now, one of the hot button topics in the PC gaming space lately, especially the graphics card section of PC gaming, is of course cryptocurrency mining. As, of course, the Graphics cards that are good for mining, obviously, you know, the RX 580, just for example, Vega, three others, have been obviously harder to get hold of, and the prices have been driven up, driven up rather, because miners are buying these cards, which obviously has led to some frustration from a lot of people, especially as, of course, AMD and NVIDIA have really done nothing at all to, you know, even slightly sort of try and calm the flood or reduce these prices or anything like that. Now, Micro Center themselves have decided to, well, take matters in their own hands a little bit. So now this, this is probably going to be a drop in the ocean as they're, of course, a US retailer, but it's still nice to see nonetheless as they are limiting orders of some graphics cards to two before jacking up the price. Now this was noticed by eTechnics and we have an example here of the PowerColor AXRX Radeon RX 580 Red Devil. Now this is pretty popular if you want to mine your Ethereum, and if you want to buy two, that's cool. They're 350 bucks each. Want to go above that? Well, that'll be $10,000, please. Yep, you heard me right, $10,000. Now, basically, this policy isn't just for this one particular graphics card. It does seem to be fairly across the board, and not just for the 580. For example, an ASUS GTX 1070 OC costs 440 bucks. For one, 470 for the second, and then once again makes that eye-watering jump to 10,000 for anything above this. Now I have actually checked, and these prices are still live at the time of recording, so this isn't some weird error that's since been corrected or anything like that. This does seem to be a deliberate attempt by Micro Center to try and limit the cards to two per person, which you know is obviously not unreasonable. Obviously, you could just buy two do it again and then buy another two, assuming, of course, they haven't thought of that already, which they very well might have. But obviously that is a bit more of a pain in the ass, and obviously is an attempt at least to try and slow down the flood and obviously try and keep the prices at a reasonable level for these mining friendly cards. Let's move swiftly on, however, to our second item of the day, which is once again regarding the i7-8700K, which of course is Coffee Lake. Yesterday we of course discussed a few things regarding Coffee Lake, that being of course the German pricing for this particular chip and of course a few others as well, as well as of course a Geekbench score for this particular chip. Now we have yet another leak regarding the 8700K. Now this is thanks to a Canadian journalist by the name of Carl Morin, who somehow managed to get his hands on a HP Omen desktop with 8700K inside. and. Obviously, fairly happy to take advantage of the situation, and who wouldn't? Ran a few benchmarks, and we have some Cinebench scores from a live stream, and they should be on screen right about now. And, of course, given that they are pulled from a live stream, you will have to excuse the rather blurry quality, but it does still give us a slightly more complete picture, especially when you add it with the Geekbench results that we had yesterday. And he also helpfully managed to get some CPU-Z ones in as well. So a uh, big thanks to uh, Carl Moore in there for being very swift on his feet and managing to get those benchmarks and showing us these results. Very, very helpful indeed and giving us a nice picture of what the 8700K has to offer in various situations. So our final item of the day is actually from Microsoft. This is actually regarding Windows 10. Now, of course, if you're using Windows 10, which obviously a lot of people have uh, decided not to go for, and, you know, you can't really blame them, uh, the issues with it are, you know, being ironed out, but there are still some, and I can understand why some people are still gun-shy. Uh, but, of course, even those who do have Windows are obviously not too keen on to automatically upgrade because there have been a few updates that have been a bit screwy, to say the least, and that trend, unfortunately, continued with the Spring Creators update, which was finally released and after this did come out, there was unfortunately a few reports of stuttering while playing various games. And Microsoft have actually verified that this stuttering was indeed present in some cases. And we have a comment from the support engineer Paul Aaron who confirmed that a fix is available 
in the Insider Preview, which obviously means that it will be coming to the general public fairly soon. And for those of you who are wondering, he says, quotes, thanks to all of you who provided feedback and submitted traces via the feedback app. We've been reviewing the traces and have identified an issue that we believe is a cause of stuttering in some cases that you've reported. We have a fix in the Windows Insider build that took flight to the fast ring this week. If you're already an insider, please test it with any Apple game you're having this problem with and let us know how it goes. So, there you have it. If you are indeed an insider, you can test out this new build for yourself and see if it does indeed fix your stuttering problems. If you're not an insider, obviously you're going to have to wait and see for it to, to come to the actual you know, full patch, but obviously you can always roll back to a previous version until this is rectified, but they have just thrown up their hands and be like, yep, it was us guys, sorry, and they have actually managed to fix it, despite efforts to downplay it by some. So... That is me done for this particular video. Thank you very much for watching. Your support is highly appreciated. Do remember to like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. This helped out a great deal and I'll see you next time.